Hey guys, we are here today as a group to play a game. What suggestions do you have? Hi, I suggest we watch some cartoons. I say we play Monopoly. I don't like it. I like the Monopoly suggestion the best. I knew you'd like it. Then let's go upstairs and play. Do you have this game? Yes, it's lying in our room. Great, then I'm ready to go play. I'll beat you all to the punch and buy it all back. Then let's go up to the room and take a look. You're a risky guy, Mikey. I'm just very confident. Now we're gonna check it out. Well, well, what's this here? Interesting. Well, let me play with you, too. Do you like board games? Then I'll play a board game with you. Only the figures for the game will be shaped like you. Let's see how you do. Hee hee hee. All right, you guys ready to lose? Well, now we'll see who's the better player. We're certainly not going to lose to you. Then let's sit down and see who's the best. Is it done already? Of course, I've got it all set up. Then Nico and I are playing against you. Mikey, let's show them how to play. JJ, roll the dice. I got a grand total of three. Now I'm quitting. Buy a plot in a green area. You think I need it? It will help you win faster. Now it's our turn to make a move. Now I'll buy up half the street to stop you. What's going on? I don't know. It looks like a big earthquake. That siren is really freaking me out. I think we should run to safety. It's the safest place to be. Can't we at least take a look at what's going on there? Let's be careful. Everything seems to have calmed down. Let's go outside and see what's out there. If we see anything dangerous, we run straight home. All right. Holy mama macaroni. What happened here? Oh my god! How could this happen? I don't get it either. Can you see anything? Is there anything left in there? JJ, what do you see? Nothing. Everything is empty and there is nothing. It can't be. What do we do now? Looks like dark times are coming, folks. What are we gonna do? Looks like we're stuck here all alone. We're gonna have to survive somehow. What are we gonna need for this? We need to make a vegetable garden, get water, and make a fire. Who's gonna do what? Nico and Cash, you're planting a vegetable garden. All right, let's plant potatoes so we have something to eat. Sounds great. Make a vegetable garden on this side of the property. All right, we're on it. What do I do, JJ? You'll find water. How do you get it? It can be obtained by digging a well. Is this place okay? No, dig where the ground is clean. Oh, I think I got it. I'll get us some water in a jiffy. Great, then be careful. I'll be fine. I'll light the fire. Make sure there's no collapse. You know I'm a do-it-yourselfer. I'll make it nice and fast. That's great. Soon the kids will have a vegetable garden ready. I'm gonna go find some tools for the fire. Five minutes later. And lo and behold, I found everything I needed for our campfire. All you have to do is light it and you can already cook on it. That's it, it's done. I wonder how the rest of you are doing. Hey, JJ, I think I got it all worked out. That's great. I made a fire for us. You're doing a great job. You did a good job, too. Show me how it works. Look, now we have clean water. That sounds really great. Now we can walk clean and not be thirsty. That's really great. I'm glad it worked out for you. I didn't think I'd do so well. But you did it. Looks like the boys are doing well, too. Yes, I think they are done planting the vegetable garden. Let's go take a look. How are you doing? We're done. We've finished planting potatoes. We'll have food soon. We've finished our preparations, too. I can't wait to see them. Sure, come on, we'll show you around. Hope it worked out the way you wanted it to. And even better, look, it's the source of our clean water. I didn't even expect this. The water is very pleasant. Wow, I'm so glad we have all this. We also have a bonfire. Now we can cook. What's that sound? You heard it too, huh? Where's it coming from? Definitely not from there, there's nothing there. We need to survey the area. Good idea. I'll look that way. I'll watch the back of the house. If anyone sees anything, let me know right away. JJ, I think I found where the sound is coming from. And where did he come from? Why don't you take a look for yourself? What? Where did she come from? Oh, hello. Do you know what happened? Who are you and what are you doing here? I was nearby when the siren started and hid next to the house out of fright. We don't know what happened. We came out of the house and there's nothing here. Well, can I stay with you then? There's nothing to think about. We don't need any more mouths and problems. Let's get her off. Don't even think about it. Why do we need her, JJ? Mikey, you're stupid. Don't you understand? She can cook and make our house cozy. Yes, of course I'm willing to do that. That's good. Then you can start doing something. Yeah, well, I'm going to go inside then. We'll just keep working outside then, boys. You can do anything you want at home, within reason. Yeah, and don't break anything. And to keep the house in order. We're counting on you. Don't worry, guys. You'll have real order and comfort here. Well, guys, I guess we're lucky she ended up here. Hopefully there won't be any problems with it. Yeah, I think it's going to be fine. We'll be fine. Let's get some rest. 
What's that sound? Where's it coming from? Is there really something going on outside? But how is that possible? We're the only ones here. I gotta wake up, Mikey. Mikey, wake up. Looks like somebody's stealing our potatoes. What's that noise, JJ? That's impossible. What's all the fuss? Can't you hear that sound? There really is something going on outside. But how is that possible? I don't know. But we have to go and check it out. You're right, Mikey. We must protect our crops. Are you sure it's not dangerous? Anyway, we have no other choice. Well, then let's go and find out what's wrong. I'm a little worried. We're all going together, so it's all good. Holy turtles, what is she doing? What have you done to our vegetable garden? I decided to create coziness on the property. What did you do? Things are much better now. You've destroyed all our food supplies. What are you talking about? There were weeds growing here. I had to throw her off a cliff. Well, what do you mean? How dare you dig up our potatoes? You had one task, and that task was cooking. And you have knitted and destroyed all our efforts. Get out of our sight. Yeah, get out. Sorry, I wanted to do better, and I didn't mean to piss you off. You've already ruined everything. Now go home and make dinner with what you have. And don't show up in front of us. I'm so sorry. I should have gotten rid of her right away. Do you think we have any chance of saving our vegetable garden? I guess we'll have to start from scratch now. Is that what you all really think? She destroyed everything. Everything we planted. I think we'll get out of this situation somehow. It is very much to be hoped that we can make it work. The next day. Look at all the cool pigs we have now. I'm really glad we have them. I'm very happy too. These are your future cutlets for dinner. Ha ha! I can't hurt those cute little pigs. I can't either. Someone's gonna have to do it anyway. All in all, we did everything we wanted to do. Let's go inside. How good it is that we have solved the problem Afmao created for us. That's right, Mikey. Let's close the pen so they don't escape. They are so cool and cute. That's a good point. They're safe now. As long as they are in the pen, they are safe. Let's go inside. Yes, let's go. How would you like to pass the time? Can't we just finish playing Monopoly? That's a good suggestion, but can we do something useful? Let's play, JJ. The food and water issue has been resolved. I'm not sure that's true. Now we'll always have fresh meat. We were also able to plant potatoes. What's that sound? It's coming from the street. Is there something wrong with our pigs? Gotta go and see what's in there soon. Come quickly. We need to get to the bottom of this. What's the matter, Mikey? Oh no, stop, don't do it. What are you doing? Why are you doing this to them? They were trampling on your garden and I thought I should protect it. What are you talking about? Oh no, our piggies. I just saved your vegetable garden, didn't I have to? Okay, that was the last straw of my patience. I support you, Mikey. Why did we ever bring you in in the first place? Instead of helping, you're just ruining everything. Dump her. I wanted to help you. Why are you doing this to me? Goodbye, we don't need you anymore. It seems like we won't have any more problems with her. That's a good point. Too bad we couldn't be friends. I don't feel too bad. Look what she did to our pigs. By the way, did she completely destroy them? Yes, JJ, they're gone. I'm extremely sorry to hear that. Stupid Afmau. I'm so sorry we couldn't save them. If only we'd run out a minute earlier. There's nothing we can do about it. Let's just go inside then. What are we gonna do there? Why don't we play Monopoly and decide what to do next? Well, then let's go do it. Can't think of a better one anyway. The next morning. What? Who would ring our doorbell? How is that possible? We're the only ones on the island. Guys, get up quickly. Looks like someone's here to see us. Get up quickly. Maybe we can get out of here. Mikey, get up. Mikey. Get up before we miss it, you stupid. Come on, get up. What are you making such a fuss about, JJ? What's that noise? What happened? Someone's ringing our doorbell. But we're all alone out here. We need to see who it could be. All right. Well, let's go and open the door. Do you think we need this? What if they're here to save us? That's what we're about to find out. I'm a little worried. Open this door. <gasps> what? Hey, you guys going out? How is that possible? We threw you off the island. Mikey, it looks like we're back in our village. How did this happen? I don't know, but I'm so excited. We're really back. Haha, <laughs> is this our home village and we're home? What's wrong with you guys? How did you even end up here? We chased you away. I think it's a bit clinical, so I'll go for it. What the is going on here? Fine, let her go wherever she wants. We're homeboys. This is really unexpected. How did we end up here? Well, since we're here, we're going home. Okay, I'll see you later. Nico, are you going home? Well, that was pretty fun. See you guys later. All right. Well, I'll see you sometime later. Have a good day. Take care. What are you and I going to do now? Okay, now that everyone's gone, let's go home with you. I miss our piggies for some reason. We will definitely be purchasing some of these. Okay, so what do we do now? Mikey, we're finally home. We can do whatever we want. Like what? For example, we can watch TV. Hmm, 
There's cartoons going on again. And that's still what you're interested in, Mikey. I don't know anything. I'm very interested in watching them. I have a better idea. Let's go play computer games. Oh, come on. This should be interesting. What do you want to play, Mikey? I don't know. Maybe Minecraft? Or we could watch some YouTube videos. One million zillion jillion dillion cotillion times later. Mikey and I are hanging out at our favorite playground today. Hey, hey! Probably no one will be surprised when they see exactly what court we play on. It's true. Nothing even changes here for a long time. Do you think JJ has been able to get up here once in this time? And you're mocking me as usual. I can't get up there, unfortunately. That's understandable. Look here. I'm going to do a trick. Where do you want me to look? Look down below. Why would you jump in here? <laughs> oh my god, that was awesome, man. That's right. Learn while I'm alive. You are braggart, Mikey. Let's go get some food. Great. I don't mind either. Especially since there's so much here. We'll grab a bite to eat and then we'll keep playing. It's all so delicious. Mikey, you're my best friend. You're mine too, JJ. Hey, guys. Oh no, my parents are coming. That's bad. Mikey, stop playing. Let's go home to eat. You've been on the court for a long time. Hi, Mom and Dad. Hello. How are you guys doing? Did you two have a good time? We had a lot of fun and played a great game. Yeah. Well done, guys. All right, Mikey, let's go home then. Let's eat and do our chores. Can we take JJ to our home for dinner? I wouldn't mind doing that. We didn't even think you'd ask that. I don't even know. You'll have to ask Dad. Please, parents. JJ has never stopped by to visit us before. Yeah, okay, there's nothing wrong with that. Let's go home and I'll alert JJ's parents. Yay, thank you so much. Are you happy, JJ? Of course I'm glad. Thank you so much for your hospitality. Let's go, guys. Let's go quickly, JJ. We'll come home and eat and I'll call your parents. Thank you. What wonderful parents you have, Mikey. Come on, don't embarrass us. Let's go home already. I agree completely, especially since I wouldn't mind having dinner at all. Yay! You suggested we go to your place. I can't wait to come over. Is this your house? Yeah, we live here. Make yourself at home, JJ. Don't be shy. If you need anything, reach out to us. Don't worry. JJ knows everything. Thank you so much for caring. It's a pleasure to be with you. I hope you'll come to see us more often after this. With your invitation, I'll come every day. By the way, guys, what do you think of our yard? We've been building everything today. It looks great. You've done a great job. Yeah, we did a good thing. Okay, all the way. Let's go home already. Finally. Otherwise, we'll be standing on the doorstep till tonight. I like like to talk about different things. Okay, guys. Daddy's going to go to the store now, and I'm going to cook. Okay, we'll wait for you. You can go to your room and mind your own business for now. Great. You can show him what you have in your room or play something. I've been wanting to see how Mikey lives. That's great. You guys are good for being so good to each other. Come on, let's go to your room. Come on, Mikey. Let's not waste too much time. You go ahead and get cooking. Why don't you go to the store and get us some groceries? I'm gonna go now. Don't yell. Do you guys need to buy anything at the store? Maybe some candy or chips, for example? No, we don't need anything. All right, have fun, guys. Guys. Thank you. Let's go to your room. Let's see what you've got in there. She's on the second floor. I think you'll like it. This is my room right here. Now you'll see everything. It looks so beautiful in your home. I love it. Then come into my room and tell me your opinion if you like it. Wow, how neat and pretty you have everything. I love it, Mikey. It was all done under my supervision. You have great taste in things. And here are all my awards. There aren't that many. More than I have. This is where I have my computer. My dad gave it to me for my birthday. That's a powerful one you got there. And this is where my bed is. That's great, Mikey. But where am I going to sleep? Let's go over there. I'll do it now. Do you have another bed in your room? Of course, JJ. I knew you'd come to me someday. There she is. Wow, she's really cool. Thank you, Mikey. You're very hospitable. Jump on it. Wow, it's really soft. It will be very comfortable to sleep on. I specifically chose one of these. JJ, while we have time, let's play on the computer. I'm all for it, especially since you've got more power than me. That's right. My dad specifically picked one so he could run a lot of games for a long time. Guys, get off the computer. Let's go eat. Finally ready to eat. We made a very delicious dinner. You've never had this before. And it smells wonderful downstairs. The smell's even gotten here. It's really good. Then let's not waste any time and go eat. I agree, Mikey. Otherwise, it's already very dark outside and JJ needs to get home in time. But Mom, can JJ stay with us tonight? We haven't even played yet. Mom's kidding. I've already called and arranged for JJ to stay with us and go home tomorrow morning. Awesome. Thank you so much. So much. Let's get downstairs or the food's gonna get cold. Let's go, JJ. We'll eat and then we'll keep playing. That's a great plan. 
Especially since I've been hungry for a while now and don't mind eating. I made a special dinner tonight. You guys can sit down and start eating. Wow, this looks so yummy. Thank you so much for this dinner. Let's go taste what mom made. It's clear without a sample. It's super delicious. Wow, it looks beautiful. It's like a restaurant. Bon appétit, everyone. Thank you. Have a great appetite to all of you, too. Thank you, JJ. How do you like it? Did my mom make it good? Personally, we like everything. It's very tasty. Yes, I totally agree with everyone. This is unbelievable. Then eat up and don't get distracted or it will get cold. And then Mikey threw water on the teacher. That was fun. Oh, what was that sound? Did something explode? Yeah, I heard a weird sound too. Maybe the neighborhood kids are messing around again. Uh, seriously? Yeah, well, it happens, JJ. You can keep eating, kids. Okay, this is delicious. By the way, are you staying at my house? Because it's late outside. JJ can stay with us tonight. Oh, cool. I agree with you. Oh, great. Now let's get ready for bed. It's getting late. Let's go to my room. You'll sleep next to me. Okay, let's go. We always put Mikey to bed all together. Yeah, it's something of a family tradition. You have some strange traditions. You're an adult, Mikey. I don't really care about that. After that, I usually play computer games. What did you say? I didn't hear you. It doesn't matter anymore. It's time to go to bed. Yes, I'm already falling asleep a little bit. And there's your bed on the left, JJ. Oh, thank you. It's so comfortable and soft. We are glad that you liked it. Let's go to bed already. You and JJ are distracting us from our sleep. Yes, we've been standing here for a long time. Good night, everyone. Good night, children. Good night to you, too. Now we have to wait a little while until they fall asleep. Then we can play with toys. Yes, Mikey. You're such a prankster. Let's pretend that we're asleep. The next day. How did you sleep in your new place, JJ? Probably cool at all. He really enjoyed playing. What? Have you been playing all night? No, we were sleeping. He misspoke. Well, it doesn't matter. It's time for JJ to go home. Yes, I'll open the doors for him. It was nice to stay the night with you, and I really stayed too long with them. Bye-bye, JJ. Come visit again if you want. Thank you all. You have a great place here. You are very hospitable. Oh, oh, and where is the path home? What is this pit? Or are we floating in the air? Mom and Dad are waiting for me at home. How am I going to get out of here now? Oh my god, what should I do? There's no way out of here. It looks like I'm stuck here for a long time. We'll have to go back to Mikey's family. At the very least, I should warn them not to run out of the house so abruptly. Hey, JJ, what happened? Do you want to visit us again? Oh my god. What is it? Let me see this. I wanted to go home, but I realized that your house is floating in the air. How could this even happen? I'm seeing this for the first time in my life. Oh my god, we're all going to die. So don't panic. Mom, I'm scared. What should we do now? How should I know? How can I watch TV now? And how do I play the computer now? We don't have electricity. Don't worry, we have generators in the basement. I've prepared this just in case. It might come in handy. Wow, well done, of course. Now we will have our own electricity. Yes, that's how good I am. We're very lucky, Mikey. Now we can watch TV and play computer games as much as we want. Oh, that's good. Great. Now I will stay with you for a while longer. You have so much fun here. We need to go down to the basement and turn on all our generators. I'm going to need your help while mom is in shock. Yes, she still can't believe that we're floating in the sky. Yes, I would be a little surprised too, but somehow I don't care about it. Mikey, you always don't care about anything. I agree. And over there are my generators. Oh, people usually keep stuff in the basement or lock people in a cage. Ha, we're not that evil, JJ. Keeping people in a cage is so terrible. Who is doing this at all? And here are my babies. Are they really good? I bought them for thousands of dollars. Thanks to these generators, we can live autonomously for several years. Yes! Our dad likes to spend money on all sorts of useless stuff. You know, when I was a kid, I built my first generator with my own hands. Wow, you're so smart, Dad. When I assembled my first generator, it exploded. Oh my god, you're out of luck. My parents forbade me to touch any electronics. I would also forbid it. But I kept doing it until I built a second generator. The second one also exploded and almost tore off my arm. <laughs> Since then, I've been buying only ready-made electronics. I think this is the right thing to do. And where can I get food? It is impossible to get to the supermarket. I'm not going to starve on this island. What should I do? There's only enough food for one week. We need to come up with something urgently. Oh, that's right. I can grow it in our yard. It's time to make your own vegetable garden. I will use this diamond hoe for this. I hope that I will succeed. It remains only to decide what I will grow. I think potatoes are very tasty and nutritious to eat only for the rest of your Life. Now our whole family and JJ will be vegetarians. Not by choice, of course. It would be cool to have a couple of pigs at home. Like this, and then like this. That seems to be it. Now we'll have a bunch of potatoes in a year. Oh, and what is this bright light? Hey, JJ, wake up already. 
Oh, what? Did I fall asleep? Yes, you slept until lunch. What? Have you already given the light? Do we already have electricity? Are we on the ground yet? Um, what are you talking about? Maybe you had a nightmare? Uh, yes, I had a very terrible nightmare. Okay, tell me about it later. And now it's time for you to go home, JJ. You've already stayed too long at our house. Where are all your parents? Well, everyone's gone to work. Okay, I dreamed that this house flew into the sky. Blown up? Then why didn't we fall down? You're having a weird dream, JJ. This dream was very plausible. Okay, tell me what happened next in your dream. Your dad started turning on the generators in the basement, and your mom started growing potatoes in the garden. Yeah, that's crazy. I would have known right away that I was dreaming. Mikey, how cool it is to feel the ground under your feet. Oh my god, how nice. The ground under your feet. Yes, it's so wonderful. Yeah, we shouldn't have played all night. Look at the strange dreams you have. Yes, playing all night is very unhealthy. See you next, Melman. Mikey and I decided to take a little walk. What are we going to do? I don't know. Do you have any ideas? We can go to the park. What are we going to do there? I hear there's a festival going on there today. Sounds great. Hopefully there will be some interesting challenges. I'd love to participate in something too. I think we're getting closer to this festival. Mikey, look, what's that? I don't know, JJ, maybe it's a prank? Survive the block and win a million. Sounds interesting. I think it's pretty dangerous. Come on, let's do it. You wanted to take part in the challenge. All right, let's give it a shot. I think it'll be easy. I think so too, because we are a team. And you and I are very good at different tasks. Okay, then I'm pushing the button. Yeah, come on. What? Where am I? It's so empty. I'm really only on one block. Mikey probably hasn't moved here yet. Where is he? Holy turtles, where am I? Mikey, we found ourselves on a trial. I didn't think it would be on the same block. But it is, and there's nothing underneath us. It's dangerous. We need to be careful. Yes, and this is no time to be discouraged. I also think we need to figure out how to survive here. We can definitely handle it. Write in the comments what you would do in such a case. Cash, today is a good day to come up with something interesting. I heard there's a festival in the park tonight. Why don't we go there? Sure, we'll go. Maybe we'll meet someone. We should be close by now. I can see it already. Nico, look, what is that? This must be some kind of test. There's a million diamonds to be won here if we pass it. Do you want in? Of course. Besides, I don't see anyone else interested. What if it's dangerous? Cash, where are you? Where did he go? All right, let's go. What if there's no way back? Where am I? It's so empty. Where are we, Nico? Apparently, we got caught up in this ordeal. Then we need to do our best to win here. I, I think there's someone here. Who are they? What are they doing here? I don't know, but they seem to be getting somewhere. We should call them. You and I are not bad at this, JJ. That's for sure. We were even able to get food. Hey, guys, we're here. Who are they? It sounds like the sound is coming from over there. You're in too? Let's survive together, shall we? We'll help you. They'll take our winnings. You don't think it's worth it to help them? That's right. We're doing just fine on our own. We don't need any help. Yes. It would be better if we united. Don't you see it's better this way? We don't need any extra bidders for our winnings. Yes, we'll be fine on our own. Get out of here. Together, we have a better chance of winning. And we'll split the winnings evenly. Mikey, their idea sounds pretty logical. And what are you suggesting? Let's join forces for a sure victory. Well, okay. I'll just keep an eye on you. We won't let you down, I promise. In any case, we were planning to expand. And here's the occasion. Together, we'll get through this very quickly. And pretty soon, we'll be going home with diamonds. So I'm almost done. Just walk carefully. Yes, it's very easy to fall here. My name's Cash, and this is my friend Nico. And I'm JJ, and this is Mikey. How long have you been here? For a few hours or so. The food will be ready soon. That's cool. Nothing. We'll all be out of here soon with the diamonds. What are we going to do now? We can expand the lot and build a home. Then we'll start construction. Three hours later. What a wonderful day for a walk. The sun is shining, the birds are singing, it's just beautiful. I'm going towards Central Park. I would like to find something interesting to entertain myself with. Oh, I'm gonna go over here and see if there's anything. There doesn't seem to be anything here either. What's this, survive the block and win a million diamonds? I like the sound of that. I want in on this. Win a million diamonds, that's just unbelievable. Okay, it's done, I'm in. So, to participate, click right here, and what happens? I get a block? We'll have to try to press it. I hope it's a lot of fun. Hello again. We've been working on developing our island for hours now. Hey, JJ. I'm almost finished with our house. You did good, Mikey. Keep it up and we'll win for sure. There will be iron soon. I'm glad to hear that. 
I think the house will be ready by now. I'll try to finish it. Guys, let's have a general meeting. Discuss the way forward. Yeah, what exactly is the question? What's with the tree, Mikey? We need some of it to complete the house. Then I'll do the planting and the firewood. Great, then I'll think of something to eat. The prize is almost in our pocket, folks. Uh, you need to take a look at this. What is it again? You'll see for yourself. Who the hell is that? Who are you? I'm a new participant in this challenge. We need to get rid of her. We don't need competition. Let's just push her off the island. What are you going to do? Don't touch me. We don't need anyone else. You shouldn't have come here. Don't do anything to me. This will be our prize. Let's break it down. Sorry, but there's no way you're getting on the list. It's already filled. Have a good flight from our island. Why are you running away? You don't have to. We'll make a deal. Nice flying. I think she's done. She won't get in our way. I'm glad she's done. Where did she even come from? Maybe she pushed the button like we did. That's right. The important thing is that she's gone. Great. Then we'll get back to work. I support this idea. You go on mining iron then. And we're going to go finish building the house. We need to win the prize as soon as possible. And we will do everything we can to make it happen. Let's finish the house then. Then I'll go and prepare the boards. I need some laths as well as some boards to make a roof. No problem. I'll get it to you right away. Don't be long. We have to hurry. Mikey, give me a couple minutes. I'll be right there. Oh my god. It, it took me a long time to fall down. How did I end up here? Holy mother spaghetti. What is that? What's all the noise in here? She's back here again. Just don't do anything to me this time, please. I'm not promising you anything. I don't understand it at all, but we need to get rid of him. I support Mikey. Me too. I think I know what we need to do. I think I know what you mean. No, please, let's do it together. Well, you're just in time for dinner. What are you doing? Will you let me go? She's such a chatterbox. You don't have an apple? And we were wondering what to have for dinner. And he came to us. Dinner will be ready soon, guys. Two birds with one stone. Let me go. I, too, am part of this ordeal. No, no, we want you out of our way. This island is too small for one more contestant. It seems like it will be ready soon. And the whole prize goes to just us. It feels like it's getting closer and closer. At least it hasn't bothered us yet. That's it. One less contestant. I think we did it. Yay. Now we can go about our business. We'll be able to complete everything we've planned. Why don't we grab a bite to eat then? Sounds like a good idea. Let's wait a little longer. What are we waiting for? How is that possible? But hello, boys. Looks like you're not getting rid of me so easily, is it? I don't understand why you're still here. The only thing left is that we have to beat her. I play here, too, so you can't exclude me. What do we do now? You're going to have to suck it up and compete with me at full strength. You're just a girl, and we can beat you easily. Oh, I'd love to compete with you. But don't forget, you're alone, and there are four of us. What do you propose to do? I would just give up if I were you and not even try to win. There's no way we're giving up. Well, then you can keep having fun and I'm off to win. Hey, guys, let's think like this. How do we win this contest? Let's start by protecting our tree. It's okay. Let him take it. We can do it on our own. I've got a couple ideas. Yeah, come on, come on. I already dream of surpassing it and building the most epic house in the world. I believe that you need to pay attention to more than just the house itself. She seems determined. Don't give up. Nico, you're behind the iron. We're going to make a house. We have to go around it. Okay, I'm going to keep doing chores around the house. All right. Then I'll help him. All right, you help him. If you need anything, call us. We're here for you. I'll just do what you told me to do in mine iron. Good. You're a good help. We need to show her who she's messing with and take the win from her. So, uh, how are we doing? Are we ready to win? I'm not sure we're going to make it anymore. I think we're going to lose, too. What are you doing? What's with that attitude? It started after that girl walked in here. I thought you didn't care about her. That's true, but look at what's in there. When did she have time to do it? Apparently while we were minding our own business. That's no reason for us to give up. You think we'll have time to get ahead of her? Even if it takes us a day longer, we have to try. Why don't we just break the house down? Don't you remember what happened when we tried to get rid of her? We'll get through this. Are you serious right now? Look at our house. It's just another sketch. We'll finish it. Like we don't need a million diamonds anymore. And I do. I'm not going to lose. Then what are we going to do? Let's go and ask her how she did it. That's a great idea. She obviously must have some kind of secret. Look how big it is. And all pink and pretty. She couldn't have built it herself. Hey, boys. Tell me, how did you build this house? I built it myself. Why are you lying to me? It's just that I'm a professional in this business. I offered to team up with you, but you turned me down. Looks like she beat us to it. I guess so. 
Dear participants, I am pleased to inform you that our competition has come to an end, and the winner is a beautiful girl named Afmao. Wow, I didn't expect to pull out this win so quickly and easily. I'm so glad. What? Where am I? This is our village. We must have been sent back. I can't believe she won. Where are the others? Oh, that wasn't very nice. It was funny. I've never won so easily before. We're bound to get lucky someday. How much did you win? They said you'll see for yourself. Holy turtles, how many diamonds are in here? Enough to spell trouble-free living. Don't you want to share some of it with us? How can I tell you? This award is too tight for all of you. But that's not fair. I don't know anything. Bye, losers. She just swarmed us all like children. All in all, it was pretty interesting. It's just a shame we couldn't win. We'll be lucky next time for sure. Let's hope so. We're going home. Okay, good luck with that. Bye, guys. See you later. See you later. JJ, I'm sad we couldn't win. It's sad, but it's a lesson for us to be more welcoming. Do you think things would be different if we joined together? At least we'd have Diamond. Huh, well, that's fine. We'll get them on our own somehow. That's right. What do we do now? Why don't we go home? I'm very tired from this trip. Yes, you're right. Seven months later. Ooh, that's so cool. Whoa. Hey. Yeah. OP. These leans are awesome. I'm like Tarzan from the cartoons, except my parents aren't gorillas. I'd better not fall off the lean. Would you like to jump over trees on leans like this? Oh my god, look! A burning airplane going straight down. How horrible! There's a lot of people inside. It must hurt to fall from that high. I wouldn't want to be on that board. Looks like it's going to fall not far from here. I need to get there as fast as I can. It exploded? That's horrible! I gotta get there faster than the speakers. They can eat them all! They were so unlucky to fall on Cannibal Island. I may have to meet the speakers again. They wanted to eat me too! Oh my god, that plane set my forest on fire! I need to find the survivors. If they're still alive! What a huge airplane this is! From far away, it seemed so tiny! The doors to the inside of the plane are closed. Although I think trying to get inside the plane is a bad idea. It might explode again. I don't see any surviving passengers. Where are they? Oh, I think I see one. Just one? Only one person survived? And it's some little boy. Looks like he's the one who needs my help. I'll go to him now. Then I have to put out all these lights. The whole island could be incinerated in an instant. It looks like he's scared. Hey, boy. Boy, come here. Hey, how are you? You okay? Where are your parents? Hi, I'm fine, but my parents died on that plane. I'm the only survivor of the crash. I don't know what to do. I'm all alone. I feel sorry for my parents. What's going to happen to me? I know exactly what you need to do. It's to get off this island right now. That's where the speakers live. They eat people. Oops, more and more problems every minute. Look, maybe you could help me out while I stay at your house for a while. I don't have anywhere to go right now. Yes, I can take you to my village. For real? Thank you so much. You are the only one who can help me now. From now on, I'm in your debt. We better get out of here fast. There's still fuel left inside the plane. It could explode. So cool, never been to the islands. Thanks again for helping me out. I really appreciate it. Just let me remind you, this is a Hannibal Island. My family is no exception, but I eat plants and berries. But don't be afraid, I'll hide you. Two hours later. There's my village. The villagers are all out hunting now, but be quiet anyway. You're not supposed to be noticed. Okay, okay, I get it. There's your cabin. No one will notice you here. Maybe. What? I'm gonna live on the street? No, in this cabin. It's cozy. Make yourself comfortable. I thought I could stay at your house. I'm gonna freeze to death out here at night, and it's uncomfortable. Look, you don't have a choice. Get inside. Anywhere else, you're gonna get eaten by my neighbors or my parents. Don't you dare come out of your cabin. I forbid you, for your own safety. Okay, okay, I hear you. I'm not going anywhere. Thanks for the cabin, at least. I used to build these at my house. It's pretty cool. Oh, that's great. I'm gonna go to my house. I'll bring something to eat soon. I wouldn't sleep in a place like this. What's the most unusual place you guys have slept in? Write it in the comments. Hopefully everything will be okay. Did you see the plane crash? There were no survivors. Could have been so much human flesh. Oh, hey, JJ, where have you been? Uh, well... I've been hunting all day, but I haven't found anyone. Oh, I'm sad to hear that. I'm so hungry, JJ, and your hand looks so delicious. It doesn't matter. We need to try to hunt and find at least someone to eat. Our supplies are running low. Yeah, JJ, try to hunt better. Your roots and berries aren't tasty at all. It's not food. People are food. Very tasty and nutritious. Now, JJ, go clean up your room. Daddy and I are going to go hunting next. First, we have to gather all our axes and knives. We need to be ready at all times. Okay, whatever you say. I've never understood how you can eat other people. They're creatures just like us. <coughs> Woo, I think I got some sleep. I should go check on Mikey. Get him some vegetables or something. Or does he like fruit? Ah, uh, don't do this, please. Help me. I'm being roasted at the stake. Help. 
Help me. I'm in pain. Ow, ow, ow. What's going on? Somebody grabbed Mikey? I need to help him now. Where is he? Where's Mikey? Oh my God, my parents want to eat it. They're already grilling him. Mommy, Daddy, please stop. It's my friend. He's the only survivor from the plane. Please let him go. Don't eat him. But we're hungry. It doesn't matter. I hid it behind the house so no one would eat it. Let him go. He's in pain. Okay, okay. You release him yourself. You're vegan. JJ, hurry up and get me off the fire. I'm gonna fry. Yes, yes now. Okay, you're free. You okay? Yeah, I'm fine. Thanks for bailing me out, JJ. They caught me so fast. Where do I go now? That way, Mikey. In that cabin. Don't you dare come out of that place. I'll talk to my parents. They won't hurt you. Don't worry. I'll keep an eye on you. Come on. Go back before someone else sees you again. Thank you, JJ, for saving me. I owe you again. You're the best. All right, all right. Just go. Bye, JJ. Thanks again. Bye-bye, Mikey. Be careful. Why did he come out of the shelter? I told him. Oh, my God. I'm totally going to get yelled at and punished. JJ, how dare you? You took pity on your prey and sheltered it outside our house? We almost ate him. We've been without food for days. Yes, darling, it was so juicy and delicious and nutritious, and then you came. JJ, you're grounded. You're gonna stand in the corner all day. Yes, go to the corner. You're grounded. You made us hungry. Okay, if you say so. You cannibals. I don't want to hear anything. Get in the corner, you little idiot. We're sick of your antics. Eating people is a good thing. Yes! No, it's bad to eat your own kind. They're just as human as we are. Why don't you eat each other? Shut your mouth. We've lived like this for years. Get in the corner. It's okay to eat people. You're the smart one, aren't you? I don't think so. Your mom's right. You got yourself a puppy. And they need to be eaten. Finally, that's what I did. My father did. And mine used to do the same thing. And my grandfather did. No one's gonna change for you. Oh my God, what idiots my parents are. The next day. Oh, my back. Did I sleep in this corner all night? Hmm, wow, it really is morning. Oh, I hope Mikey got far enough away because he can't survive here otherwise. Oh, the speaker men on this island don't like outsiders very much, especially TV men like Mikey. I better not bother my parents. Uh... JJ, open up, I'm here. Mikey? This call doesn't work. I'm gonna press it again. Mikey! Oh, JJ, I missed you. And I wanted to say thank you for saving me. Mikey, my parents could wake up at any moment. You need to get out of here now. Can I come inside? No, there's no way you're going back to my house. I'll just come in for a couple minutes. What's wrong with that? Uh, oh. No, means no. Well... Uh... JJ, what are you doing up so early in the morning? Nothing at all. That's really weird. Who rang our doorbell? Are you hiding something from us? No, I'm not hiding anything. Then get away from the door. No, I can't step back. I just can't do JJ, it. JJ, step aside now. Dad! JJ, step aside or I'll punish you again. Oh no, okay dad, I'll step aside. I had a TV boy behind me the whole time. Mikey! Uh, hi, I'm Mikey. Oh, JJ, that's our escaped kebab from last night. Let's roast him. You're not running away from us this time. Oh, hmm. Dad, wait. There's something I have to tell you. I can't wait. I'll talk to you at lunch, JJ. Oh, my God. But it's very important. I don't want to hear anything on an empty stomach. The skillet is ready to fry. Oh, no. We're finally going to eat. Come on already. Dad. Ouch! Mikey! Oh, I never thought I'd be a breakfast. No, wait, we can't eat it. Huh, what do you mean we can't? Uncle, I'm not tasty at all. Just pick it up and eat we it. We haven't eaten in three whole days. Finally, some decent tasty food. We're very hungry. Wow, I didn't realize it was so bad with food. No, it's fine now. Just listen to me already. Mm. We can't eat this TV boy because he's here by accident. Oh, what? Uh, darling? He lost his parents in a plane crash. He's got no one left. How awful. Oh, my God. Please, let's not eat him. Let's help him get home. All right, come on out, Snacky. Ooh. Yay. The nickname is Snacky, which sounds cool, but my name is Mikey. All right, Mikey, my name is Speaker Man. And my name is Speaker Woman. Yeah. You must have known our son for a long time. Huh, nope. We just met for the first time a couple days ago. Yay. What are we going to do? Well, I've got an idea here on how we can send you home. Oh, what? I don't know what he's talking about. Uh, apparently you're going to get some help. Yay. Come on, Mikey. So what's the plan? I saw a boat at the shore, and I think you can easily swim it to your homeland. Wow, that sounds reliable. Yeah, let's take a look at that boat. Come on, I'll show you the way. JJ and your parents aren't as scary as they seemed in the beginning. Kids! Keep up with us. Hurry up, hurry up. Speaker Man can't show you the way home if you fall behind. That's right, so let's go. Yay, Mikey will be home soon. Oh, Dad, my legs are getting tired. Where's your boat? Wow, is that the boat? Hmm. Oh, yeah, we're finally here. Cool. And now it is my pleasure to present this boat to you. As you can see, it's afloat. It's fine. Speaker Man has been building this boat himself for weeks. You'll have no problem getting back to TV town. Thank you so much for your kindness. Uh, we're sorry we wanted to eat you. Yeah. It's okay, because you finally helped me get a chance to go back to my homeland. Uh. I'm very grateful to you for that. Oh. And I'll never forget my journey here. Thank you for everything and goodbye. Mikey, I'll never forget you. I'll see you again. JJ, why don't we be friends next time I sail here? Oh, I'd love that. Text me, Mikey. Have a good trip. Hmm. Oh, well. Hope he can get home safely. I hate to remind you, but we still haven't eaten in three days. Oh, right. What are we going to eat now that our last breakfast just sailed away? I don't know. 
but I hope this breakfast has a smooth journey to its home. Oh, he's still waving at us. Mikey, I'm gonna miss you. Okay, I think it's time to call it a day because my stomach is starving right now. Oh, that's right. JJ, I dare you to go hunting today because your daddy's really tired. Wait, what? But I'm tired too. The next day... Oh, my arms are gonna fall off from paddling with these oars. But that's okay. I'm finally home. Oh, still, one day on the road is very much worth it. I'm in my homeland now. What a great town we have. I wish mom and dad were here with me. But I won't be discouraged. I can survive here. I'll have to send JJ a letter when I get settled in. Too bad we can't live in the same place. That would be awesome. That's right. Six months later. Oh, another boring day. And I was looking forward to hearing from Mikey. I guess he forgot all about me. I'm so sad about this. Uh, JJ, you finally got it. What are you talking about? Your friend Mikey gave you this letter. Oh! Well, through the mailman, he's the one who brought the letter. Oh my god! I was beginning to think he'd forgotten all about me. Well, you can tell me how he's doing later. Yeah! I'm gonna go fry some rabbit. Thanks, Dad. I'll tell you later. I finally waited for Mikey's letter. For JJ, from Mikey. Hello, JJ. How are you doing? I'm great. I've arrived in my city. Thank you for helping me and getting me off this island. I promise you that we will see each other again. Mikey. Oh my god! So he wasn't kidding when he said we would meet again. How cool is that? I'm just so excited right now. I really want to see him again and have fun. The next evening... Hey! Hi, I'm Bella. And my name is Charlie. Our family is expecting a new addition. I'm so happy. Will it be a boy or a girl? You're gonna have a baby brother. <gasps> I'm gonna be a big brother, yay! Yes, my favorite son. Don't you think it's a little hot out? Yeah, I'm getting a little heavy already. Huh, mom's a jokester. Huh, yep. Let's get inside before I get sick of this heat. Ah, uh, okay. Of course, dear. Your health comes first now. <laughs> Mom, let's go inside quickly. I'm worried about you. Let's go, let's go. Mikey, don't rush, Mommy. She can't move fast enough. Okay, okay. Oh, come on, honey. I can move normally. I'm worried about you, too, my sweet bun. <laughs> Mikey, aren't you hungry yet? No, Mom. I'm only concerned about my little brother for now. It's good to hear that you're so ready for it. Of course, because that's the thought that's buzzing around in my head. Huh, really? That's so cool. That's a lot of responsibility, isn't I'm it? I'm going to teach him so much. Well done. <clears throat> what is that? The screams seem to be coming from the first floor. Was that really mommy screaming? Hmm, if so, why? Mom and dad, where are you? Honey, hang in there. It's gonna be okay. <sighs> mommy, what's happening to you? Mikey, your mom's having a baby. <gasps> and now it's in progress. Oh my god, mommy, hold on with all your might. Mikey, I'm doing everything I can to make it happen. Maybe I can help. No, Mikey, I can do this on my own. Uh, okay. It's a deal. Honey, hurry up. Come on, honey, on one, two. Careful. One, <sighs> and two. Wow. Who? finally. Yay! Honey, am I missing something or is there something you're not telling me? Daddy, is something wrong? That. <gasps> hey, you all must be my family. Holy turtles. JJ. Oh, JJ sounds cool. Wait a minute. That's my name, isn't it? Yeah, it works for you. Cool. And this must be my mom. Well... Oh, that's my big brother. Cool. Why are your faces like that? Daddy. Is something wrong? I don't know what to do. I don't know how this could have happened. He's not even a TV man. You know, I'm fine with it. What's wrong with him being different from us? Mikey, this is a big problem. Am I a problem? JJ, you're not the problem. <clears throat> Wait for us here. Uh, okay. Look at him. He's the speaker. I can't hear what they're saying very well. How can that even be? But I guess they didn't like me. That makes me very sad. Do we really have to kick him out? Let him stay! Looks like my big brother is on my side. That's awesome. Oh, I wonder why they went farther away from me to discuss it. I'm so bored here alone without them. JJ. Uh. We've decided we can't leave you to your fate. That would be cruel. Uh. So you can live with us as our son. It's okay. Yeah. You'll sleep and eat here and play with Mikey. Oh. Yeah. You're going to share a room with me. Isn't that cool? That's great. All right. Let's go. Where are we going? Huh. We're going to our room. Let's go. You're sure to love it, JJ. Uh. What's your name? That's right. Call me Mikey. Okay. And call them mom and dad. All right. Thanks, Mikey. <laughs> your room is ready. Yay. Thank you. Make yourself comfortable. Thank you. Good night in advance. Good night. JJ, come on in. Wow. Wow, this place is so cool. Uh, What's up? We're just very curious. We just wanted to see if you like the room. Oh! There's even a computer for the two of you. Really? And a big TV. Wow. And separate beds for you and Mikey. This all amazes me. Thank you so much for all of this. Enjoy life and have a good night. And sleep well. Good night. Bye-bye. Mikey, your parents are so cool. Ah, uh, JJ, they're your parents too. I know, but I can't believe it. Can you believe we got this computer just because you were supposed to show up? Really? Yes, and my mom let me hang these posters. Wow, that's really cool. I'm amazed. Look, this bed is yours now. This bed is as red as I am. Yes, we just picked up a brightly colored blanket and it just so happened to match. Huh, that was funny. Yeah, it's a sign that you're in your place now. That's cool. Uh, I'm getting a little tired already. Then let's go to bed. Yeah. I'm so glad I have such a funny little brother. Nice. Let's be friends for life, okay? Uh, okay. Sweet dreams. Sleep well, my cool big brother Mikey. Today was an awesome day. The next day. <laughs> <laughs>
Yay, we're all going for a walk together now in this beautiful weather. JJ, keep up. JJ, where are we going together? We've come to our local TV man park. Oh, I feel superfluous here. JJ, it's gonna be okay, don't worry. We accepted you, so they will too. All right, Mikey, wait for me. Hurry up, JJ, this place is really cool. Wow, Mikey. You're gonna love it. Hmm. Hey, everybody, this is my little brother, JJ. Uh, huh, you say brother? But they don't even look alike. Oh, look at him, he's not a TV man. Huh. This little guy is speaker man. Exactly. He doesn't belong anywhere near us. Mikey, I'm scared. Why do you have to be so horrible to us? Wait, what? I told you he shouldn't be with us. But mom! Mommy, JJ has nothing to do with this! Huh, ugly. Oh no, he's undermining our family's authority. Please, mommy! Don't call me that again, ever. <gasps> mom, stop! I'll deal with you right now. Honey, wait a minute. Ah, that's a stupid speaker. I can't take all the ridicule directed at my family over some speaker anymore. Stop! It's all horrible. Let's get out of here. That baby was the worst mistake of my life. Mom, calm down. Please stop. No. Two hours later. That's exactly why this situation is terrible. Your mom's right, Mikey. Well... Do you understand me? Oh, huh. The whole town is laughing at us. Wow. You've got to understand me. Where are we? You don't have to worry about that. You're a mistake. You shouldn't even exist. Oh, my God. So it's time. Mommy, stop. It's time to say goodbye. Wait, what's going on? Why are you doing this? JJ. It's very high up here. I'm very scared. Please stop. No mercy. And no regrets. Please. <laughs> no. Ah. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. I don't want to die. That was a good flight, wasn't it? Yeah, and I don't see him popping up. Well, that's great. It's done. I agree. Good job. Oh, huh? Mikey, we're leaving. Mikey, don't worry. We won't do that to you. You're our precious TV boy. But JJ wasn't bad at all. Why would you do that to him? I will never forget you, my brother. You'll always be in my heart. Mikey, where are you? Mom, I'm coming. I'm going to miss you so much, JJ. <laughs> I need air. Breathe. Oh, no. No power. Oh, be strong. I just have to survive. Oh, I see something. I've got to swim to it with all my remaining strength. My hands don't listen to me at all. A little more, a little more. Yes, I did it. Phew, I made it to the tree log. What luck. I'm lucky the sea is so calm or I wouldn't have gotten out. It's hard for me to think about anything right now. I'm too tired. Oh, wait a second. This is some kind of horror. Oh my God, are you kidding me? Oh, is that a blue sky and some trees? Am I a survivor? That's right, I could climb that log. It washed ashore with me. I was incredibly lucky. It turns out this is where I'll be surviving now, away from my former home. Away from my brother, Mikey. I miss him so much. Hmm. Oh, this forest is so fluffy, it's beautiful. I think I'll be able to live a peaceful life here. And no one can chase me away because I'm alone here. Hey. Uh. Hey, boy. Who is this beautiful man? Where did you come from? I was brought here by a wave from the sea. I'm from TV Man City. Wow, but you don't look like a TV boy at all. Yeah, that's why my parents kicked me out. Is it real? They threw me off the mountain into the river. Nightmare. Oh, that's my brother Mikey. Hey, JJ, I can't live without you anymore, my brother. Did you jump off that cliff too? This is crazy. Uh, no, JJ, I just went down and swam to this island. You're amazing to me, Mikey. Ah, uh, no big deal. 1245 miles and here I am. Oh my God. JJ, there was no way I could accept that you were gone. Oh. So I took this step to be with you. Can we stay here? I'll honestly be a good TV boy, Uncle Speaker Man. Huh. Okay, well, I can see he's really not a bad TV, so let's all live together as a family. Oh, does that mean you're gonna adopt us? Sort of. Mikey, are you sure you can survive out here with me? It'll be fine. Let's go. Uh, okay. I'm stronger than I look, JJ. Huh. It's actually noticeable. What are you talking about? I'm the inconspicuous one, by the way. Huh. You'll stand out more than anyone else here. JJ is right. We didn't have TV man kids before this. Oh, it's still bothering me a lot. Don't sweat it, JJ. JJ, don't worry. Hmm. There's no room for hate in our extended family like there is in the TV men nation. Yes, your city is very different from theirs. Nice. And I like it a lot better here. Come on, we need to introduce you all. Oh, does it have to be? And I want to meet everyone. That's the spirit. I'm sure it'll be fun. Oh, well, I hope you're right. In fact, if you think back to those TV men, they were extremely aggressive towards me. Speaker man, oh, huh? you're back. Uh, who are those cute little guys next to you? Uh, I was expecting a slightly different reaction. You guys are too cool. We can't have a different reaction. Oh, they're so cute. Let me hug them. You're the cutest kids in the world. Can we stay here? Sure, no problem. Stay. I don't mind. Cool. Yay, thank you. They accepted us. Have a good day. Yeah. You rest and we'll go. Wow. Bye-bye, guys. Bye. Thanks for being so warmly welcomed. Thank you all so much. Hmm. I'll work hard, I promise. I'm so glad, Mikey. Me too. Thanks, Uncle. You're welcome. I told you there's nothing to worry about. Oh. We have good speakers living with us. Yes, it's true. They are all marvelous. Wow. And they accepted Mikey. <laughs> Shall we go home? Yeah. Uncle. 
Are we really going to live under the same roof with you? Really? Yes, since you don't have a place to live yet, I've made that decision. Wow, that sounds awesome. You will live with me and my beloved. Wow, that's a big house. JJ, keep up. Yes, I'm on my way to you. We're gonna live here, wow. I'm amazed too, we're lucky. So, are you ready to step into your new cabin? Uh, you can live here as long as you want. It's not a cabin, it's a mega house. Thank you so much for your concern. Oh my god. Honey, I have a little surprise for you. Wow, who are those cute little boys? Uh, I found them on the beach. They were caught in a storm. My name is Mikey. And my name is JJ. Whoa, what a disaster. Yeah. Stay with us. <gasps> oh my God. We'd love to stay with you. Uh, do you have anything to eat? Sit at the table. I'll give you some food. Over there. Come on, JJ. Oh. Because it smells really, really good. Yes, the smell is magical. <laughs> I'm getting hungrier and hungrier. Yeah, I don't remember how many days ago I was eating. I don't remember either. Don't worry, you'll be fed all the time here. Bon appetit. Holy turtles, JJ. Oh my God. This looks perfect, thank you. Yes, thank you so much. Let's hurry up and eat. Yes, bon appetit to both of us. Perfect. Yes, that taste can't be conveyed in words. Very delicious. We're so glad you're enjoying everything. Honey, we gotta go. Yeah, guys. Your common room is on the second floor. Hurry up. When you've eaten, make sure you go there. Wow. Cool. Bye, everybody. Bye-bye. We'll be right back. Bye. Don't be shy and make yourselves comfortable. Thank you, Daddy. Oh, he called me Daddy. Yay, he's apparently okay with it. I think we were very lucky to meet these speakers. Yeah. Look, there's even a TV with cartoons on it. Wow, I love cartoons. I can't wait to see our room already. Uh. Let's go upstairs and have a look around. Ooh, I'm really, really interested too. Well, let's get over there. Do you think it's a big room? No, I think it's a small room. Wait, why? Well, they're hardly generous speakers to that extent. Well, I'm amazed at the size of this staircase alone. Hmm. <gasps> JJ, look at this. The room looks big. Not just big, this room is gigantic. Oh my God. You described this room with the real right word, gigantic. And we have our own beds here. Yes, you have just the green bed. I love everything about it. Cool. Look, we have our own personal TV with cartoons in the room. Wow, I'm going to watch it every day. Huh. And then you'll be just like that crab. No, what are you talking about? Your eye will twitch too. Hmm, <clears throat> okay, I won't watch so much TV then. Look. Oh, and this must be my bed by now. Cool. Also, I noticed something interesting, JJ. Wait, what? JJ, look over there. Oh, what? It's a super mega computer. Oh my God, there it is, my dream. There are three whole monitors. It's unbelievable. I'm shocked too. I'm sure this PC is very powerful. Oh, that's it. You're going to watch TV and I'm going to play on PC. Wait, what? I don't agree to those terms. Huh, don't worry, I'm just kidding. <clears throat> we'll take turns playing. That's the kind of thing I'm already happy with. Six months later! I have a date with an amazing girl tonight. I hope you are happy for me. I'm outside her house right now. I've been here once before in our previous videos. Hey, my lady, open the door. Hey, 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 it's JJ. Oh, I'm coming. Yeah! Oh, hey, JJ. Hi. Long time no see. What brings you here? Yeah! Nice weather today, huh? Uh, yeah, the weather looks good. Why don't we go for a walk? You don't want to stay home on a beautiful day like this, do you? Oh, you're a persuasive man, JJ. Uh... Let's go! Cool! I've got a couple of ideas where we could go. Oh, that sounds great. Let's go. Huh, what? Wow, a trip on a huge cruise ship. Wow. And for only 30 diamonds. Speaker woman, look at this great offer. Hmm. How would you like to go on vacation with me? Oh, with you on this trip? Yeah. That sounds great. Hmm. But I don't have that kind of money. I think it's worth it. Oh, look. Hmm. Hey, hey! Oh, Mikey, hi. Hey! Hi! What's up, JJ? Mikey, we'd love to go on an all-inclusive trip, but we don't have that many diamonds. Oh, so you haven't bought your tickets yet? Huh, I already did. Wow, Mikey, where'd you get the money for that ticket? Well, I just know how to work with the right people, JJ. Oh, cool, lucky you. Wow, yeah, it's too bad we can't go with you. You know what, JJ? I'll help you make money. Really? Yes! Oh, thank you, Mikey. You're welcome. I'll come to you later about the job. All right, I'll be waiting. Bye. Oh, honey, we'll still be able to go on this trip. Are you sure you can save up that many diamonds? Yeah, it's going to be hard, but Mikey's going to help me. So we're going after all? Yeah, we're going on vacation after Yay, all. Yay, I'm so excited. Three days later. So are you ready to embark on this amazing journey? Yeah, I think I'm ready for our trip. Cool. Look at the boat we're going on. Is this really our ship? Speaker woman, did you ever expect this liner to be this huge? No, it's unbelievable. I thought it would be a little smaller. Wow. That's what I call scale. It's mesmerizing. Wow. Yeah, and we're going on that boat. Yeah, but first we have to buy tickets. Uh. Come on, let's go. Yeah, right. We still have to buy the tickets. This is it. I hope you got all the money you need. Yeah, of course I got it all. Then go buy them. Okay, hello. Good afternoon. Ticket for you? I'd like two tickets to your lovely liner, please. Yes, of course. That'll be exactly 60 diamonds. Hmm. There's a huge promotion going on right now. All services are free. Oh! I hope you enjoy your vacation. 
All that's left to do is issue your tickets. Cool! Here are your tickets. Oh, thank you very much. So what's up? I bought the tickets! That's just great, JJ. Now our trip will be unforgettable. Yeah! This ship looks solid. I think so too. Oh, I wish we could go on vacation like this more often. Hey guys! Uh... Here I am, Mikey. <laughs> You're already here! Is that Mikey? Huh, he looks so cute. I'm all set! Mikey, huh? You look pretty, uh, prepared. Hmm, what's wrong? Yeah, Mikey, are you sure you're gonna need all this? Oh, of course I'm gonna go with the duck. I got this at work, it's my mascot. Hmm, interesting. JJ, we should really hurry up. Oh, right. The ship's leaving soon, let's hurry. Come on, we gotta get to the ship. Go. Mikey, wait for us. JJ, you got two tickets, right? Oh, I'm all set. That's great, then we're good to go. Oh, I'm so excited. This is Boris, he's the captain of our ship. Cool, man. Oh, yes, I salute you. I am the captain of the ship. Nice! As you can see, my ship is very large. Yeah! Let me see your tickets, please. Yeah, here's my ticket. Take it. Thank you. Hmm, Mr. Mikey, you may pass. Great, I'll wait for you there. All right, I'll be right there. Now it's your turn to show us your tickets. Yeah, here you go. Oh, there's two of you. Uh, all right, Mr. JJ and Mrs. Speakerwoman, you can both go through. Come on, let's go. Yay, let's go on an adventure. Oh, here we are. Oh, we're finally here. We've got so much to see. Oh, my lady, I'm so glad we're going on such a great trip. Two hours later. Oh, first few hours on the road, and I've already tried so many things. Yes, it was quite a thrill. Yeah! We've already gone over everything we can. Can we stop now? Yeah, but we haven't been here yet. Oh, but JJ... Let's go! Okay. Oh, this place is pretty spacious. Whoa! Oh, there's even fitness equipment. Huh, we'll keep fit while we relax. <laughs> Hmm, what else is there? Oh, here comes Mikey. Hey, JJ and Speaker Woman, how's it going? Oh, Mikey, hi. Oh, cookies. Yeah! Where'd you get those? I got a tip from a guest that there's free food here. Oh, Mikey, you're so smart. Yeah, unlike you, I was doing business and socializing. You've got it all figured out. I also knew there was something interesting on the deck. Let's go have fun, JJ. Oh, come on, let's go. Let's go. Oh, this liner is so huge that I haven't been here yet, although I've walked a lot. JJ, but it's only the second floor. Is this just the second floor? Wow, the liner's that big. Cool. It's unbelievable! Yeah! It's got four floors! But that's not what I wanted to talk about. Oh, here it is! A beautiful cliff into the pool! Is there a pool? Yeah, yeah! This is what I call a vacation! It looks amazing! Yeah, I'm gonna jump in! Oh no! Oh yeah, let's go! Ah! Woo! Mikey's the champ! JJ, this water is awesome! Wow, it's not scary at all! I think we can rest easy here, JJ. Oh! It's time to relax completely. Ooh, it's a luxury vacation. These diamonds are nothing compared to this lavish vacation. Huh, I don't think we would have ever been able to afford it if it weren't for Mikey. Yeah! This place is awesome. Guys, stop praising me already. I just did what I had to do. Yeah, oh, this is so good. Hi. Mikey, thanks for inviting us. This place is great. Yeah, I'm ready to live here. Relax. No! <gasps> ah! What? What was that? What happened? What happened? That's very strange. It was like some kind of a bang. I'm scared. Maybe the liner hit something? I'll have to check it out. Five minutes later. Oh, speaker woman, get up. Oh, what is it? How long have we been asleep? Uh, hmm. You remember, don't you? Yeah, a little bit. There was a shipwreck. Oh, no. We were lucky to escape. Yes, we're very lucky. But where are we now? Hmm. Oh, we've lost so much. That's right. Wait a second. What's up, JJ? Where's Mikey? Oh, hmm. Where is everyone? Where did the ship and my friends go? Mikey, you gotta swim to us right now. Oh, but what's wrong? Mikey, swim to us. Mikey, there's a shark. Get out of there. Come on, swim to us. Hurry, hurry, hurry. Oh, what are you talking about? I don't see any shark around. Oh my god, that's a real shark. I'm not gonna stay here. Whoever can swim fast doesn't get a shark bite. Mikey, hurry, hurry, hurry. Huh, I'm fast. Huh, it couldn't catch you. This is scary. What a scary shark. I don't think there's anything for us to do in the water. Yeah, we don't want to go in the water. Oh, I'm tired. We're gonna have to survive out here for a while. Do we really have to? Yeah, we gotta figure out what we're gonna eat in the meantime. And we have to find 
find some kind of island. Yeah, I'm getting pretty hungry. Oh, JJ, don't worry. I've got a fishing pole for just such occasions. I'm gonna give you some fish. Oh, Mikey, where'd you get the fishing rod? Whoa, ha Did you get it at work? Oh, yeah, I got this fishing rod at work, and now I carry it around in my pocket all the time. Well, at least we have a fishing rod so we don't have to think about food. Let the fishing begin. The next day. Oh, guys! It looks like we're docked on some kind of island. Wow, this island is so big! Oh, and there's another island right next to it. Cool! We're incredibly lucky to be here. I wonder how long it will take us to explore this island. Mm, macaroni and cheese. Mikey, wake up! Ouch, what is it? Okay, we're here. Oh, no. My lady, wake up, we're here. Oh, JJ, where are we? We're docked on some island. Cool! The views here are really incredible. Wild! I think we can survive here for a while. Wow, this is so much better than floating on a raft. Hmm. Yeah, but at least we're not in the sea. I'm getting stormy. Oh, that's a nasty disease. So where do we start? I don't think we need food. Hmm. We got Mikey. Oh. But a house would be nice. Yeah, I don't think we need this raft anymore. Yeah, that's the cool stuff. You could make a house out of this. And a roof and a fence. Also, it's firewood. <gasps> hmm, what's that? Look out. Huh, who are they? JJ. Oh, no. They're natives. What? And they're coming right at us. They're obviously very dangerous, guys. They've got spears. They're obviously dangerous. I don't like it at all. Oh, we're gonna have to fight back with our fists. Okay, okay. JJ, that was the best vacation of my life. Oh, you know, speaker woman, you're my last ray of hope in this world. Mikey's huh, here. What? Oh, what's that? Mikey. You can't beat the great Mikey. Mikey, is that a tank? This is crazy. It was a simple mission, Commander. Oh. I beat them all. You're unconditionally good. Hee hee hee. But where'd you get a tank? Oh, I saw that pretty girl around the corner and I thought it was destiny. It's around the corner, really? Hee hee hee. Okay, I don't have anything to be surprised about anymore. Well. While we're surviving here, I think we should make rocks into the word SOS. Wow, JJ. I think that word and your tank will help us find help. Yeah, let's do it. Oh, it's huge. Mikey's doing amazing things. Guys, after a while, we got a little lost and got a couple blocks. Look what Mikey and Speaker Woman are doing right now. Yeah, and we worked all alone. Yeah, just us. So I'm helping you. And how did you help us? I'm your commanding officer. Huh, you're funny. That's a job, too. We're done. Yay, we're all set. Cool. I think they can definitely see that sign from up there. Yeah. Yeah, it's been a tough couple hours on the island, but I think help is on the way. You're right, look over there. Yay! Oh, it's the rescue helicopter. Cool. He could see our sign. Cool. Cool. That's so cool. Yay. We're saved, guys. I agree. This is the best part of the vacation. Later. My friend Mikey and I went outside for some fresh air. Hey, hey. It was my idea to take a walk. It's beautiful here. Yes, it's true. I didn't want to go anywhere Mikey made me. He doesn't want to stay home, he says. Don't whine. We'll walk a little longer and then we'll go home. I'm not whining, Mikey. I just didn't want to go anywhere. Look how beautiful it is. Back home, it's all the same. Please help me. Oh, no. JJ, look. Who's that? Help me with something, preferably food. I haven't eaten anything for a long time. Oh, my God. Mikey, look at this little girl. I feel sorry for her. JJ, give her one diamond. I'll share an apple with her. Make her happy just a little bit. Here you go, girl. Eat up and get yourself something else. Is it really for me? Thank you so much. You're very kind. You're welcome. Come on, Mikey. We gotta go. Buy yourself something useful. Don't just waste money. Okay, I'll buy myself lots of food. Bye, girl. Come on, JJ, we gotta go. Let's go. Bye. She's a nice girl. I feel bad for her. Wait a minute, you forgot me. What? Did she follow us? I mean, did we forget you? Mom, Dad, I'm all alone out here. Where did you go without me? Wow. What? What are you talking about? We're just helping you. We're not your mom and dad. JJ, let's get out of here as soon as possible. Where are we going? Walk or go to the store? Come on, Mikey. Let her stay here. Don't follow us. We don't even know you. Jesus. Okay, the walk was a really good idea, Mikey. I told you, JJ. All we do all the time is sit at home and play. By the way, why don't we play something? After the walk, we can also play longer. You just have to choose what to play. We have a lot of options. We need to go and think about it. Then let's not waste any time, JJ. Let's go to our game room and see what we can do. We'll decide there. All right, Mikey. Let's do it. It's all about coming to a consensus. Don't worry. It won't be hard. I think so, too. Look, we can play slot machines. Why don't we play computer? There's a lot more games. We can play anything. No, Mikey. We played yesterday. I don't want to play today. Then let's go play the console. We haven't turned it on in a while. Hmm. That's a great idea. Let's play console tonight. Who would have come to us? 
I don't know, we're not expecting guests. What if it's that girl? Go and have a look. Maybe it's someone else. No, JJ. I don't want to go alone. Let's go together and see who it is. Really? Please, let's go together. It's not that hard for you. Okay, let's go take a look. But it's embarrassing that you're afraid to open the door thinking there's a little girl in there. Did you see the way she was hitting on me? I can't do it alone. Come on, open it already. Oh no. Hi, mom and dad. Is this our new home? It's big enough. What? No, this is our house. That's what I said. Our house. Ours means mine and JJ's, but not yours. What a great place you guys have. What? It's so beautiful here. Get out of here now. That's a nice house you got there, mom and dad. I like it here. It's better than the street. What? We're not your mom and dad. Why do you even think we're your parents? It's so great here. Everything is so big and beautiful. I love living here. Where's my room? This isn't your room. Stop running around and touching everything. How is my room gone? You need to do something, parents. I'm so sick of her. I have to get her out of here. Way to go, Mikey. Okay, girl, listen to this. This ain't your house. What? You can't just run in here without being asked and do whatever you want. You can't do that. That's right. Now, let's pick her up and take her away from here, JJ. Yeah. Maybe then she'll realize we're not her parents. I think it's a good idea, too. Enough playing around. It's time to show her that we are not kind boys to be treated like this. And after that, we'll be able to play the console in peace. Let's get her out the door. Don't come in here again. We're not your parents. Forget about this house. Forget about this house? Yes, you heard it right. Don't come in here again. Come on, Mikey, it's time to play. Bye, I hope I don't see you again. Go find your real parents. Whew, that was a tough one. I hope she doesn't bother us again. I think after this we can safely go play consoles. We may have offended her a little bit. There's no other way to get rid of her. She's like a leech. No, 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 no. Are you going to play the computer? I want to come with you. What is it, Mikey? How'd she get in here? I don't understand anything at all, JJ. I just carried her out the door myself. What's wrong with her? She's a little out of control. Maybe she's a demon? Moments later. It's time to get serious about this. I think so, too. After the second time she was in our house, Mikey and I decided to take her away from the house. You won't see us again. At least I hope so. I'm sure she'll never see us again. Here comes our long-awaited surprise. The cab driver's on his way. It's going to end now. We'll send her far away from us, so she'll never again be at the door unknowingly. Hello, did you call for a cab? Hello, yes, we called it in. You're gonna need to take this girl somewhere far away. Doesn't matter where. Why? And how does it not matter where? All right, uh-huh. Get in, let's go. I know where we're going. Just sit down. Don't come here again. The road is closed to you. Are you gonna pay? Here you go. That's more than you need. Thank you. Goodbye. Just get her far away. That's it, JJ. They're leaving now. Our plan worked perfectly. Now she won't find us. I really hope I don't see you again. Now it's safe to go to bed. And no one will be running around the house and touching everything. I'm insanely excited about it. Now we can sit back and do our business in peace. Only we won't have time to play anymore. It's nighttime. Time to go to bed. All right, we'll play tomorrow. The main thing is that no one's home. It's much better than playing in front of a strange girl. I couldn't agree with you more, JJ. Okay, it's time for us to go to bed. See you tomorrow, JJ. We'll go for a walk when we wake up. Good night, Mikey. See ya. That's it. Now I can lay on my bed and rest without nerves? Guys, do you think we're being tough on this girl? Or is that the way to treat her? Write in the comments your opinion. We are very interested to know. I guess that's it now. We can go to bed. Where do I sleep, Daddy? You never showed me my room. Oh my God, no. This can't be happening. Mikey, she's here again. She came into our house again somehow. Why are you yelling so loud? He'll wake up. This can't be real. JJ, what are you yelling about? What's wrong? Can't you see that? Oh, no. She was in my room again in some unknown way. It can't be. I mean, we put her in a cab far away from here. As you can see, she's back here again. What are we supposed to do with her now, JJ? Please don't kick me out. It's already dark outside. I'm afraid of the dark. Okay. All right. I got it. We won't kick you out. It really is nighttime outside. You can stay here and sleep. We'll figure something out with you tomorrow, JJ. Okay, I agree with you. Let her stay. Thank you so much, Mom and Dad. Where do I sleep? Let's go. We'll take you to your room. Let her stay with us for one night, and tomorrow we'll come up with a plan after which she won't even be able to be in the city. This is my personal room. This is Mikey and I's old nursery. But tonight you're gonna sleep here. It's been a long time since I've been here. Nostalgia came over me. All these toys. 
We used to play with all these things. Now you can use it all. Thank you so much, parents. You're very kind. You're welcome. Use whatever you want. We're going to bed. Just don't break anything, especially the TV. It's expensive. Bye. So, Mikey, what's your plan for tomorrow? How are we going to get rid of her? To be honest, I don't quite know how exactly yet. I do have a plan, though, but it's super expensive and it's also super reliable. Then you'll tell it to me tomorrow. I'll be sure to tell you. I'll see you tomorrow. See you tomorrow, Mikey. Now I'm sure no one will stop me from going to bed. I'm so tired of that girl. I hope it all works out tomorrow. The next day. Here comes the long-awaited day. The day of the grand plan. We'll take her to the island on this yacht. She'll never get off. The boat looks gorgeous, Mikey. Everything's going according to plan. Check it out. The girl's already jumping all over that boat. Mom and Dad, come here to me. My God, when did she get in there? Maybe it's not human? I don't know. But I want to get rid of her soon. She's starting to scare me. Don't worry. Now we'll take her back and our suffering will be over once and for all. That's great. Then let's hurry up and get going. Take her so far away she won't even know where she is. I really hope it all works out. I'll go crazy if she comes back after all this. Let's go tell her we're going on a trip. She will now be on the journey forever. Hey, girl, we're coming to you. Hi, are you ready for an exciting journey? We're all going together. Yes, I really do. That's great. Then come upstairs and we'll go on a trip around the world. I'm on my way. What a good mood I'm in. I can't wait to be free. And most importantly, get peace and tranquility. She has no idea what's in store for her. She's really thinking about traveling. Hee hee hee. Three hours later. Here we are, finally arriving at the island. There's no way she's getting out of here. So, JJ, you ready to do this? Are you ready to be a free man? Of course I'm ready. Mom, Dad, what's this island? This is your new home, girl. You're going to live here now. What? I'm going to live here alone? Of course you're alone, not with us. Did you really think we were your family? Just go to your new home. We should get going. Why did you do that? Goodbye. We'll never see each other again. Live here for the rest of your life. Have fun and do whatever you want. Stop! Don't do that! Let's go, Mikey! Before she ends up back on our boat. The plan went perfectly. We did it. Now we can sail back home. Finally! Hurry up, hurry up. Go, go, go! Mommy and Daddy left me here alone. What am I supposed to do now? How am I supposed to live here? Hey, girl, who are you? Am I just imagining it? Whose voice was that? Who called me? Who are you? I've lived here for a long time. How did you end up here? Who the hell are you? I came on a boat with my parents. They said it was a trip, but really they just left me here. Don't hurt me. We're not gonna hurt you. Don't worry, you have a new family now. It's us. Cool, I'm really excited. I missed having a real family. I'm glad to be one family with you on this island. Thank you. Two hours later. Finally, we got rid of the Amphow. This house is ours now. This has always been our home until this annoying little girl came here. We won't let anyone else in here anymore. Let them live on the street. We don't want any more guests. Yes, JJ. Oh my God, who are they? What are they doing here? What the horror is going on here? Now we live here. <laughs> Get out of here. I didn't let them in here. And who put them in our house? I did it. They are my friends and they had nowhere to live. So I let them spend the night in our house. Really cool. Mom, Dad, you don't mind, do you? We are against it. Oh my God, Mikey, what should we do? Um, I don't know. I have no words. Now we have a dorm at home. It's time to burn down our house, JJ. Yeah. Just then. Mikey and I are going to go play soccer on the playground today. All right, Mikey. You ready to play? Of course I am. Look at that ball. Let's start playing already. With such a great ball, you can become a pro soccer player. Get in there, JJ. We'll kick the ball to each other. That's great. Let's see how professional you are. Are you doubting me? I'm gonna kick you so hard you'll never catch it. Or should I take pity on you and hit you less hard? Kick it already. You talk too much for a professional. Catch, JJ. The ball's coming your way. And that's what you call a punch? Now you catch. How'd you like my shot? Well, you could have hit it better. Now I'm gonna hit harder. Well, let's see. Yeah, Mikey. I thought you were better than that. You hit like a girl yourself but you make fun of me. Let's not fight. Let's just play soccer. I was just trying to spice up our game, but okay, let's just play. Watch me hit the ball. Wow, he's jumping. Nice, JJ, nice shot. I want to try to hit as well as you. Where are you, kids? I'm coming to you. Oh, looks like we won't be playing anymore. There you are. 
Come here, stop kicking the ball. What's wrong, Dad? Now I'm going to show you my little surprise. Come inside, you'll be glad you did. Whoa, what's in there, Dad? Could this be a new computer? Or a new scooter? Let's go inside and find out. You'll never guess. Okay, Dad, we'll be right there. So, Mikey, what do you think Daddy has planned for us? What do you have in mind? Let's go quickly and find out. But I think it's a new scooter for us. We've been asking for one for a long time. Maybe it is a computer after all. We told Dad about it a long time ago. Longer than the scooter. Well, then let's go find out. I'd be happy with either of those two things. Me too. Then open the doors and let's go find out. Here come the parents. They sure bought us something. Come on, JJ. I want to know soon. Hi, Mom and Dad. We're here. Hey, guys. We've prepared an interesting surprise for you. We're sure you'll love it. It's very unusual. Usual. Well, what is it? Just say it. It's a ticket to a big trip. You'll be traveling together for the whole summer. You'll have fun. What about a scooter or a computer? We thought you were talking about that surprise. Aren't you guys excited about our surprise? Isn't that a bad gift? No, Mom, it's okay. We love it. It's a wonderful surprise. Thank you so much. We are excited to go on a big trip. That's good. We knew you would appreciate it. I told you traveling was great. A computer would have been better, though. Come on, then. Go pack your bags and you'll be traveling today. Be sure to let me know later if you liked it. Well, shall we go pack? Yes, you have a flight coming up. Then we'll go to our room. We need to figure out what we're going to take with us. That's right. Well done, guys. I'm proud of you. Good luck to you. Even though it's not what we wanted, it should be a lot of fun, too. That's what I thought, too. We'll get more emotion out of it than a scooter or a computer. Will we be bringing toys, Mikey? There's too many of them, but I think we can take a couple. The main thing is to choose what things to take with you. We have a lot of them, so you only need to take everything you need. It's true. I don't think we have enough room to bring toys with so much stuff, too. Hurry up and get your stuff, or we're going to miss our plane. Yeah, we got to get ready. Otherwise, we'll be left without any surprise at all. Three hours later. And here we are on our way to our plane. Yeah, that's our plane over there. They decided to give us a ride there in this little bus. There's nothing else to do. Let's go say goodbye to our parents. Come on, they're probably out there waiting for us. And there they are standing over there. Hey, Mikey, JJ, come here. The plane's leaving soon. All right, Mikey, let's get to traveling. It's about time we did this, JJ. I've been dreaming of a vacation for a long time, you know. You're finally here. It took you so long to get here. We just wanted to ride the bus. And we're going to fly in this wreck? I don't feel like going in there anymore. We paid money for your trip. But we didn't want to go to that place. Bye, kids. Have a good rest. Bye-bye. Don't come back. Bye, Mom, Dad. We'll miss you. Who are you lying to? You never miss anyone. That's just to be polite, Mikey. You don't know anything about that. Let's get to our seats on the plane. I don't think this wreck will fly all the way. We'll hope for the best, Mikey. I just wish they served hot burgers for lunch on the airplane. Mikey, all you want to do is eat. Hello, passengers. Welcome aboard the Godspeed. Uh, that's a strange name for an airplane? Whatever the airplane, whatever the name, stop whining. Okay, okay, okay. As long as the plane survives the flight. Come on, I'll show you your passenger seats. Oh my god, there are so many people here. Here are your plastic chairs. Please sit down. Aren't airplanes supposed to have normal seats? No, of course not. You bought too cheap a ticket in economy class. Why aren't we flying premium class? Be thankful we're sitting and not standing on an airplane. But there are televisions here. We can watch Star Wars here. Ladies and gentlemen, please buckle up. Wow, we're taking off in the air already. I'm a little scared. I'm scared too, but if we fall, it'll be while watching a cool movie. I'll have a better view outside my window. Okay, whatever you want. I'm gonna get some sleep. You know, I was supposed to have the day off today. Buddy, but you're already at work. I don't care at all. I'm gonna break something and fly back home. No, don't do it. Too late. I don't care about anything. It's my legal weekend. I'm gonna parachute home. You're a complete idiot. Everyone's gonna crash on that plane. Oh my god, what's going on? Our plane's going down, JJ. What makes you say that? Everyone around here is calm. Oh my god, our engine's on fire. Oh god, I don't want to end my life like this. We're all gonna fall. Pay attention. Nobody panic. We still have another engine. It's okay. I'm asking everyone to stay where they are. We're gonna fix that engine soon. I repeat. Do not panic. I'm already panicking. JJ, what do we do? I don't want to die. Do something. You're the older brother. What am I supposed to do? Should I go fix the engine? Are you crazy? We're going down, JJ. Fix the engine faster. How am I going to fix it for you? Oh, my God. My butt hurts so bad. Good thing I landed right on top of it. Okay, where did I land? Some weird beach? Some weird water? Mikey's still out. He's a big sleeper. Wake up now, Mikey. Get up. We survived. Mikey, I need you. Rise and shine, Mikey. Uh, what? 
Who called me? I called you. We're on some kind of island. I noticed that, but it's not that kind of island. It's too hot in here for some reason. I think I know why it's warm in here. And why is that? Because it's not water, JJ. What's that then? This is lava, not water. We're on an island around a lava ocean. Oh my god, you're right. How are we supposed to get out of here? I don't know. If we swim in it, we'll be completely fried. Oh my god, what are we gonna do? <laughs> Just don't cry, please. Do I have to make you feel better again? Though you could dry up that ocean of lava with your tears. JJ, we're not alone on this island. What? Who's that? Man, we got boys on the island. That's so cool. Um, I don't like this. Me too, JJ. Let's get to know each other, gentlemen. Hello, my name is Mikey. My name is JJ. We fell out of an airplane. We need help. How beautiful they are. We'll help you. Don't doubt it. How cute and beautiful you both are. It's an island of women. Oh my god, we're out of luck. You're very lucky to have come to us. It's really bad. And it's not going anywhere yet. Don't worry about it. We'll let you into one of our cottages. We would do anything for such handsome boys. I love them both already. I would be their mommy forever. They're all out of their minds. I've already noticed that, JJ. Hee <laughs> they are so funny. I love them. Let's go settle them on our island. Follow us, handsome boys. That's what my mom used to say to me. But these aren't our moms. Come on with us. You know, we could use it, though. Live here like kings. I don't think that's a good idea. Come on, don't be scared. What if they eat us? You've been watching horror movies on TV again, JJ. That's not what normal people do. Girls, where are we going to put these boys? Any house at all. Any home they want. Any house? Hmm, that's something to think about. I want to live in the best house on the island. Whatever you say, my little prince. Oh, and it's already nightfall. It's bedtime. We urgently need sleep after such a hard day. Well, then this is the right house for you. Come with us, my sweeties. Oh, how very hospitable of you. And why are you helping us? Because we haven't had men on the island in a long time. We're still kids. What kind of men are we? Very handsome men. You are very nice ladies, too. Oh, that's so sweet. He's so good. We're lucky to have you. Please make yourself at home. That's cool. Now we have our own house. Good night, our favorite men. Hope you enjoyed your stay with us. All right, girls. Follow me. We've got a lot to do tonight. Good night, all of you. Thanks again for everything. Bye-bye. See you tomorrow. <laughs> uh, okay, uh... I'd sleep with you two, but we really have a lot to do. Good night, my darlings. See how lucky we are. We have them under our command. They'll carry food and scout us around the clock. Yeah, I agree. That's not a bad house they gave us. I guess our parents had a smaller house. It's not the presidential palace, but it'll do. Time to go to bed, JJ. Okay, let's go to bed. I'm so tired from today. Are you planning on leaving this island? No, of course not. It's cool. And there's our minions. It's also got comfy beds. Oh yeah, the beds here are great. I still don't trust them, Mikey. Uh-huh. What's wrong with them? They're wonderful and beautiful girls. Okay, let's settle this tomorrow. Good night. Good night, JJ. Huh, he fell asleep so fast. He must be as tired as me. Not a bad day. Oh, what's that noise outside our house? Mikey didn't even move from those sounds. And then we'll sacrifice them, all for our gods of this island. Uh, what? I didn't hear that? Maybe those girls next to me are talking about something. I should check it out. Although, maybe it's some wild animals lurking behind our house. It's scary to come out here at night. We'll tie them up. What? They're definitely girls. They're right around the corner. They'll wake up in the morning and find themselves tied up right over the fire. Oh, for the god of this island. Then he'll give us more men. I can't wait to kill our guests right now. Be patient, my friend. The morning will soon come and we'll do our thing. Oh my god, are they trying to kill us? Why don't I stab them with my knife? What? They're all crazy. We should run away from here. Why do we have to wait until morning? We can kill them right now. No, for the ritual, it has to be done in the sunlight. We must wait. That's great. Mikey and I still have time to get off this island. I gotta wake him up first. That's just awful. They pretended to love us on purpose. Mikey, get up. We're in grave danger. They're trying to kill us. Get up. Stop sleeping. Mikey, Mikey, it's time to get out of here. Wake up. This is no time to rest. Ouch, what happened? Why are you waking me up? Those sick women are trying to kill us. We've got to get off this island as fast as we can. Uh, why would they want to kill us? They like us. They love us. I don't know. They want to do some kind of ritual and then kill us as a sacrifice to some gods on this island. Oh my god. Then we've got to get out of here before they come after us. Where was the last place they were? They were over there behind the wall. We should get out of the house quietly and unnoticed. Okay, keep your eyes open, JJ. They could be waiting for us anywhere. I'm always on the lookout, Mikey. I think they've already gone to their cabins. Then we ran to the beach. Let's go. Escape from the island begins. I almost believe them. Oh my god. I like them so much. I really didn't want to go home. Who knew it was an island of maniacs? Uh, how do we get out of here? There's lava all around. I completely forgot 
forgot about that. I don't know. We have to figure something out. Maybe build some kind of ship. Oh, I have an idea. What kind of idea? We're gonna build a raft. And we'll get the planks from that palm tree over there, JJ. And on that raft, we're gonna get off this island. Won't this wooden raft burn up in the lava? Uh, I don't know. It doesn't matter. There's no other plan. Break the tree, JJ. There goes our mega salvage ship. This boat will take us home. Uh, it's a whole trough, Mikey. We're not gonna get very far on it. If you have another plan, it's too late. Passengers, I invite you all to our cruise ship. Yeah, a cruise ship. That's funny. Oh my god, JJ, those maniacs spotted us. Hey, stop right there. You're not getting off our island. We're not gonna let you do that. We've gotta stop them, girls. Wait for us. We need to talk to you. Don't swim away from us. Mikey, it's time to get off this island right now. Otherwise, they'll kill us both. Get on the raft. Hurry up. Stop, please. Come back here. You liked it here. We'll be friends. Yeah, we'll be right back. Haha, <laughs> I was kidding. No one will ever come to visit you again, you stupid maniacs. Let's swim home, JJ. Let's go, Mikey. They're so stupid. We just outsmarted them so easily. You'll be back here again, you stupid men. Hee hee hee, dumb women. Men are always smarter than women. Ten hours later. JJ, do you like this show? I do. Characters are awesome at skateboarding. Yeah, the jokes are funny. Alberto is so cool. That guy? I'd like look that too. Why is that? Just a regular guy on skateboarding. No. Here, look at this. Regular. Look how confident he is. Let's go. Where? I want a skateboard, too. Let's go outside. All right, but you have to learn first. I know. I guess it's no big deal. A couple hours and I'll be doing tricks. Wow, that's a very nice skateboard you've got there. Uh-huh. And graffiti on the back. Well, that's enough to look at it. Let's go ride. Don't worry, I'm coming. I really want to learn. Just be careful. Why? Imagine this cool board in action. It's sure to be able to speed up. But you know you can get hurt riding a board? So what? A couple bruises? and abrasions. It's no big deal. Wow, those are some scratches. Have you ridden it yet? Seems used. You don't understand. That's the beauty of the board, when it has trick marks on it. Yeah, you're right. I don't understand. Anyway, more practice? Let's talk. Whoa! You're already holding your own. Skateboarding in person is really cool. You bet. Can you do it the other way, too? Of course. Look. Wow. And now the turn. Dude, you're doing a masterful job. How much training have you had? Look, I'm going to jump and here. Oh, my. Wow. This is awesome. Mikey, you're you're a real skateboarder. I know. Do you want to try it yourself? Uh, I don't know. Come on. Do you know how cool this feels? I can't imagine. All right, I'll give it a try. Hmm, it's not that hard to stand on. Try to push off a little and go. Okay, I'm riding. Can you believe it, Mikey? Turn around. Here, you did it. Now go the other direction the same way. Uh, Mikey. JJ, pull over. Where are the brakes? Or you're going too fast. I can't stop. What do I do? JJ, watch out. <laughs> Oh. JJ, are you okay? You hit a pole at that speed. Don't worry, Mikey. I'm fine. Did I break your skateboard? Never mind. As long as you don't break yourself. It's still a shame about the board. I'll give you a new one for your birthday. It's a deal. I don't really feel up to riding yet anyway after your epic fall. Who knew skateboarding could be so dangerous? Hey, guys, what was that noise? Are you boys looking for an opportunity to break something for yourselves uh, again? Mom, Dad, what are you doing home from work so early? Where did you get that board from? I put it away after Mikey knocked out his tooth. Uh, just happened to go into the closet and found it. Are you sure you found it by accident? Anyway, we're all going to Grandma's this weekend. We need to pack a bag. Let's all relax together, get some fresh air. Whoa, JJ, we're going to Grandma on, and boys. Grandpa's. I know, I miss them so much. I bet they're probably waiting for us by now. All right, boys, just don't pack too much stuff. We're only there for a couple days. Mikey and I will only take the essentials. Dad and I will be waiting for you in 10 minutes at the car. Don't take too long. We'll see you, boys. All right, we'll be quick. All right, Mikey, let's go decide what we need for the weekend. I want to bring my comic books with me. Are you sure you're going to read them? Uh-huh. They've been in wrapper for a couple months. I've just been waiting for the right time to start reading them. Okay, I guess we can bring one episode with us. I'd also take my favorite sweatshirt. It's very warm. But it's summer outside. Why do you need a warm hoodie? What do you mean, why? Because I love this sweatshirt so much. I'm already packed, by the way. See, I didn't even need a couple minutes. Also, here's your bag. Wow, you got one for me too? You packed so fast. You're welcome. I can teach you how to do it later. Absolutely. Let's go quickly. Grandma and Grandpa are waiting for us. I'm sure of it. I can't wait to see them. Too bad we're only going for a couple days. That's right. I would love to go fishing with my grandpa like last time. Wow, Mom and Dad are waiting for us. How fast they packed. Let's go. Hey, Mom, Dad, we're ready. We can't can't wait to be at grandparents. Yes. Good job, guys. You guys are so good. Come on, get in the car. We gotta get out of here. Of course, Mommy. We don't have that long of a drive. With this car, we'll be at their cool. place in a couple hours. Can you stow your suitcases in the trunk by yourself? Just like grown-ups. 
Sure. I opened the trunk. There's plenty of room for your luggage. Come on, JJ. Let's get this over with quickly. Let's go. You know what else I absolutely love about going to visit our grandparents? What? Grandma always makes some incredible homemade goodies. Chocolate or fruit pies. Different cookies or homemade toffee. I am excited to go to Grandma and Grandpa's house, too. Do you visit your relatives often? Write in the comments. Okay, let's go. You saw how I held my own on the board. I'm a master skateboarder. Come on, I could do a U-turn like you the first time. So what? If I hadn't shown you how to do it, you wouldn't have been able to ride. That's not true. I would have figured it out without you. Boys, stop arguing. Okay, Sorry. Mom. And yet I still skated better. A couple more hours and I could do all kinds of tricks. Are you still on that? You'd break something on the first kickflip. At least I wouldn't have smashed into a pole without knowing how to slow down. Hey! Mikey, stop teasing your brother. Guys, you've been arguing for two hours. Calm down down, both of you. We're almost there. Three hours later. Well, what a village. There must be some natives living here. I doubt these houses have electricity at all. I don't like it here. I want to go home. It's not cool here at all. You will live here. There's nothing interesting here except wild animals. We have to visit your grandmother. And where does she even go? Why isn't she meeting us? We were to be greeted by an orchestra. Shut up, both of you, and wait for your grandmother. Again, she's cooking her unpalatable food in the kitchen. When is she going to get here? She's in her house. Let's go get your grandmother. OK, let's go to her little hut. I wonder if she has pigs. JJ would be easy friends with them. Haha, <laughs> JJ really smells like a pig. Hey, it hurts to hear that. Stop insulting me. I'm making fun of you. It's not funny anymore. I don't want to live with that grandma. We'll live with her and clean up after her. That's not cool at all. I don't want it. She's a fat, nasty old woman. I hate her. Here I am. Ha ha ha. It's been so long since I've seen my grandkids. Ah, uh, you're so fat. I hate looking at you. Ha <laughs> ha. Don't say those words. Otherwise, you won't wake up tomorrow, grandson. What? She's threatening me. Did you hear that? I hope you two become friends. Ha <laughs> ha. She's got a funny way of putting you down, JJ. No, no. I'll bully her better. We'll leave the kids with you for a couple days, Mom. It's easy. I'll feed them manure and hay. It'll be fun. That's not funny at all. I'm going home. Bye-bye, daughter. I'll keep an eye on them. Bye, Mommy. Thanks for taking them to stay with you. Hey, stop. I'm not staying here with her. She's gonna eat me. Stop whining, JJ. Oh, my God. All right. What are we gonna do? Come on. I'll show you to your rooms. You'll sleep there sometimes when you're not working in my vegetable gardens. What? Are we gonna work here too? I thought I came here to have fun and relax. I don't really care at all. Your rooms are on the second floor. Come and take a look at them. Okay. I hope you don't break the second floor with your fat butt. And her butt is really huge. Hey kids, don't talk about my butt in front of me. I still don't like to hear that. We don't care what you don't like about it at all. You're so ugly and fat. I hate being around you. Ha 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 Nice one, Mikey. That's it. You're both grounded. You'll stay in this room all day and night. Ha ha. You don't scare us. You kids are so difficult. Get the hell out of here. This is our room now. <laughs> it was so easy to get that broad out of here. I hate her so much. She's been eating her pies since she was born. Good thing there's at least a TV with cartoons. Something to keep you entertained during this time. There's also beds to match our colors. I'll see you tomorrow, friends. Oh my God, it's so cold in that awful grandma's house. I'm so freezing. I didn't realize it could get so bitterly cold here at night. I don't know why it's not snowing now. Time to wake up, Mikey. We've got to do something together to keep warm. Mikey, wake up, we're freezing. Stop sleeping, you little TV. What's going on? Why you're gonna be me? Why it's so cold in here? Because the walls are thin. Grandma doesn't even care that it's cold. I know one way to keep warm, JJ. Um, what do you propose to do? Somewhere I hit a lighter to play around in the village. That's what we need now. Wow, this is the coolest thing ever. What are you gonna light? That's a stupid question coming from you, JJ. I'm just gonna set the whole place on fire. It's not our house anyway. What are you doing? We're gonna burn ourselves to death. Put that fire out right now. Don't worry, it's fun, plus it's warm. Oh my God, this is not gonna end well. Moments later. Yeah, well, it's a lot warmer in here. Ha ha ha. Oh, I didn't realize the fire would spread so quickly throughout the village. At least now we don't have to spend the night with grandma. We have to get out of here before she sees us. Where will we go from this village? It's an island. We'll never get out of here. It sounds like our grandmother and our parents are going to be very angry with us.
I hope you take the blame, because you set the whole thing on fire. Uh, yeah, sure. I'll say I did it all. Well done, Mikey. Oh my god, what's happening? My whole village is on fire. I don't want to tell her, JJ. What did you do? Who set fire to the village? I don't know. Mom, Dad, what are you doing here? We've come to take you home. Who set this whole thing on fire? It's definitely not me. We were just sleeping when it started. I saw JJ playing with a lighter by the bed, so you need to blame and punish him. What? He's lying. I didn't set anything on fire. I just got cold. What are you talking about? Don't set me up, Mikey. You're an idiot, JJ. The dumbest grandchild in the world. It's not me. Oh, no. Mikey lied to you. Don't believe him. Now you won't live here anymore, you filthy child. It's Mikey. Pack your bags and get out of here. You're not welcome here. I let you in the house. You called me a fat old woman, and now you burned down my house. You're awful. Please forgive me. Get away from us. We don't need such a bad son. We all hate you. JJ, totally freaking idiot. It's so frustrating to hear that about yourself. Come on, come on, go and don't come back. Worst grandchild ever. Oh my god, stupid Mikey, stupid lighter. Why is it always my fault? Please forgive me, I didn't mean to be scolded. Goodbye, JJ. Bye, Mikey, you freak. I hate you. You're the freak, JJ. Don't insult me. I will insult you every day, even if you can't hear it, Mikey. You betrayed me. He doesn't care at all. Where am I supposed to go? Maybe someplace where I'm welcome.